Nathan Clark, thanks for joining us. No worries. <laughs> right, it's right on uh, right around the corner now. How much are you and the boys looking forward to the start? Yeah, the can't wait now. Can't wait. Pre-season's uh, sort of flown by, really. Um, more or less straight into the, the running and ball work, which was fantastic because as sort of players, you just want to get pre-season uh, out of the way, really, and get the games going. And I've had some uh, some top quality games as well in pre-season, which has been good good test for, for the lads. And uh, yeah, it stands us in good stead for, for the opening game. Togetherness last year was a massive word. We saw that. It's very apparent throughout the season. Is it the same again this year? Yeah, it's it's got to be. I think you you know you can't win anything um, on your own. You've uh, you've got to do it as a team, and uh, the the managers uh, managed to, to get a good 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 solid uh, team together. Um, you know, and if we can keep everyone fit and healthy, and like you say, the, the togetherness of, of the group again, and you know, we, we can go far. First game at home. Has it helped coming off the back of those two friendlies at home? So. I think so. I think it's always nice to uh, to have a couple of friendlies at home, just to sort of get used to it, get used to the surroundings again, especially for the new lads. Um, get them into the routines of uh, a match day, and yeah, I hope sort of everybody's ready and uh, and knows knows what to do really on ma match day. I know certain people have the the little routines and stuff, so it's it's getting to know everybody and, uh, and making sure that's right. I think routine is a big word. I think that will do everyone good when it's been such a summer of so much going on with the playoffs, yeah, the right. change of ownership. I think everyone just needs, don't they, that football to come back round. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's you know the lads are the buzzing, they can't wait, and, um, and like I say, it's, it's come round pretty quick. So as, as players, it's uh, it's good, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. It's nice to have um, a home game. I think last year was a bit of a trek for for the fans, but um, yeah, at home. Hopefully, we can uh, get a nice little crowd together. Of course, the opening day last year. Are you hoping for personally a bit of a better outcome? Yeah, well, I mean, obviously the uh, the result was fantastic. We uh, we sat on top of the table and uh, and everything else. Um, but from what I can remember, um, yeah, the, the knock to the head and things, and uh, the trip home was was quite long and uh, something that was a bit of an experience. That hopefully there's uh, no more of them. There's a few bits in the press this week when people are doing their previews and everything. That Tipping Orient to be right up there again, and obviously with the new signings and everything else. Are you and the players, do you feel any added expectation and pressure? Uh, no, I think you always like to have that little bit of pressure. Um, I think if you uh, if you don't, you sort of ease off, and uh, you know you, you possibly let things slip. Um, but the, the manager's signings has, has really you know got everybody on the toes and, uh, and working hard and making sure the focus is, is still there. Um, you know, you can only pick 11 players, and you know we've got we've got a squad now of uh, of players who, who are more than comfortable of playing. Um, so you, you know, players are going to have to be on the metal, going to have to be focused, and, and you know, make sure they they're putting the you know best foot forward in, in the gaffer starts. Chesterfield, the visitors on Saturday, and that'll be yeah. a bit of a new test. And after they made the jump from League Two last year. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be it's going to be a difficult one because they're obviously uh, they've got the winning mentality of, of last season. Um, I'm pretty sure they've, they've managed to keep their squad together. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a difficult test. You're always a bit sort of wary of teams coming up um, and the form that they're, they're in. Um, but we've, it's it's all about us at, at home. You know, we were we were brilliant last season, and uh, you know, hopefully we can carry that on. See, last year was the greatest ever start in the club's history mm -hmm. so it was a big test to do the same but what it did show was the importance of getting off to a good start yeah definitely i mean throughout you know the the full season we had a, a difficult spells but you know we were never out of the top three i think it was um so yeah i mean it sort of just just shows that getting off to a good start stands in good stead and uh, gets the confidence going throughout the team and the squad um so if we can do that again well, like you say, it's going to be a massive ask. Um, you know, it'd be be a great achievement if we can uh, certainly match it. If not, do better. Personal objectives? I just want to uh, to keep leading the lads out as as many games as I can. Um, you know, and personally to uh, to keep playing well. Um, you know, there's there's players now ready to sort of step in and uh, and take your place. So you, you've got to be uh, you've got to be fit and you've got to be uh, on your metal and, and playing well to keep your shirt. And just lastly, often. Mention your family, your girls looking forward to the new season? Yeah, they can't wait. They're, they're making the trip um, down um, on Saturday, which I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing them, obviously, and, and them watching the games. They've, they've come to a couple in pre-season, which has been nice as well. Um, 
but yeah, it's it's always nice when they they make the trip down and support me as as much as they can.